No wake zone. All right, one more time. Hold on, hold on. Look right at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you got like 50 of them. What's up guys, Mikey Swartz here, back in the garage today, working on Tucundra. Since I got this thing put back together, the right front wheel has been really hard to turn. So I'm in the garage today trying to figure out why, taking my ADD apart here. First off, I had no vacuum line running to this. So that was problem number one. Now that I got this thing off, I can see that it is stuck in four wheel drive position, which was engaging this axle. And look, look at this here, I'll show you this. See that little guy that slides right there? That's disengaged, that's engaged. So when you engage it, it's gonna turn the, the diff, it's gonna turn the axle. But when you disengage it, axle can spin freely on its own. So um, basically this was in four wheel drive, even though the truck was not in four wheel drive. I gotta figure out what's going on here. This fucking thing is full of muddy water. Mike, the fuck? No wonder it's not working properly. You idiot. <laughs> Feels good. Oh my god, you guys! That looks like my ex-girlfriend. That is fucked. Get the thumbnail. Wait, get it with the king shot in the background. Okay. King shot right here. Okay, right here, this one. Yeah. But look, I bet you we could clean this up and it's still gonna work. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to clean that up and use it? Is that is there an oil, oil in it? it? Well, no, it's it should be dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder how all that got in there. Cut to my box. <laughs> Going full bore like nobody cares. Like a f***ing honey badger in the mud. Nobody gives no f***s. We're so stuck. Look at us. Any of you girls want to pull your tits out? No. Get the no. f*** out then. My man wants a ride. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know who's going to clean this up. Dude. Where's mom at? Doors. Clean up top drawer. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I hate to not try it, but dude, it's so bad. That thing in That's electric right there. Woogie woogie woogie. That's an electric motor yeah. and right there's it, oh. oh watch my shoes. Shoes. Fuck shoes. You know what? I'm gonna see if AutoZone or Advanced Auto has this thing stuck. Let's cut to that. And then I'm gonna look it up on Rock Auto and order it from them instead because it's gonna be cheaper. Put that light on for me. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Alright, you guys you're not gonna believe this. So AutoZone has it in stock. Look at this right here, it is. Um, now I have an account with them because of my dealership, but 2139, I was just saying, that's not bad. Why am I saying that? I was just saying, that's not bad. I'm gonna go buy that, but check Rock Auto because maybe they'll match their price. But look at this, check this out. You know, Rock Auto, everyone thinks they're so cheap. Oh, look at this price, same exact part, uh, 2.1279 plus what? shipping? What? I gotta hand it to AutoZone on this one. Uh, uh, by the way, our local AutoZone is a hub store, so they, it's like a warehouse slash AutoZone. So they always have a lot of stuff in stock. What are we gonna drive today? Should we take the 96 Tacoma? How about the, uh, can't take the 05 just uh, yet. Okay, the, we got the, well, the lawnmower, but the no. The Porsche right here. We got the Porsche, but the boat's hooked up. How about the boat? We could take the boat, take the boat it's not raining feet. enough. Um, um, we take the X runner. Oh, take my forerunner. Oh, we take Gross's new forerunner. Look at these doves. They are 22s, thank you, not 20s. I am not sold yet. We could, <laughs> this isn't mine, forget That's about that. Mine. We could take the CJ5. We could. No. We could take the CRX on the trailer. It's no, it's, the, nope, not ready. Um, we could take the ambulances for sale, by the, the way, you guys. We got the ambulances truck for here. sale my dad's truck um, we're not driving that that truck's broke down and right look at this fire truck. truck have you guys seen this fire truck yet you guys have you guys seen my new fire truck you guys this is why the ambulance is for sale <laughs> look at this severe Tires. duty kit Tires are you guys down already you're not even going to believe this truck and look just slightly damaged the tires are not that bad well, okay i'm just showing it off i'm not actually going to drive it so sick you guys all right, let's take your four runner. All right, let's go. <laughs> so, how do you like the V8 four runner, guys? Dude, it, I, I had to slide the seat back because I was mashing the gas pedal too hard and it was ripping yeah, shit up too much. Back. Dude, it's, it's. It didn't kick down. It just rolled <laughs> it. All wheel drift side. Not really. Probably one front, one back, but they call it all wheel drive. Car show traffic today, you guys. All right, here's my doorman part. And yeah, it just looks like a generic version. I know you're all gonna rag on me like, oh, you should have got a factory Toyota part, mate. But you know, this is a lifetime warranty and it came from right down the street. So fuck off. 
Um, support our local businesses. Yeah, support our local artists. Just to prove that this is going to work, because I really haven't had a successful testing of the four-wheel drive system yet. So I'm going to plug this in to prove that it works before I put this all back together. Otherwise, going to need it out anyway so we can test it, you know. Word. But i got to run this vacuum line. I haven't done that yet. So Word. that one's not going to be long enough. It's kind of funny. That's Give me like a nice six incher there. Mm -hmm. Word. All right, I hooked up a vacuum line and plugged this in. I'm going to jump up in the truck and you're going to film this and tell me if it moves. So I'm going to hit the four-wheel drive switch. It should shift over in four-wheel drive for say. Way up there. Up there. All right, let's go over here. Oh yeah, truck's gonna have to be. Oh, does it have to be running? Yeah. They, they get vacuum. I gotta get them vacuum. Hey, it moved. Already? Yeah. What the fuck? It just moved. Which way did it go? It moved to the right. Fuck! I don't know which way is which. It moved towards the driver's side because it's facing me. So. It moves right now. No. Okay, no. How can it move? There's no vacuum. Watch the video, dude. It moved. Okay, let me start it off and see what it does. Are you doing anything? Yeah, but I guess it's not good. Before you start the engine, it moved to the driver's side. Like opposite of where it was sitting? Yes. Then, once you started it, it moved back the other way to where it was sitting initially. Well, that's odd. And it hasn't moved since. Hmm. Let me just turn the truck on. Before, when I was doing this, I could get Yeah, it moved! Move, just by turning the truck on. Yeah. So it shifted to the other side. It's back to the driver's side again. What in the fuck? Turn it back off. Oh. I didn't move. I thought maybe it moved back. Turn it, on. it moved again. Now where's it at? You're like back to where it started. Truck off. Nothing. Truck on. It moved again. So it switches position each time I turn the truck on? That would be correct, sir. What in the fuck did I wire it up? <laughs> like, wow. Does Something to do with the wiring right in here is... Hey, it moved again. What the fuck? Every time you turn the key. Let me try it. I, I put it in four-wheel drive. Let me see what that went. Moved. Still doing it. Damn, I better go over these wiring harnesses. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I guess you can pause it. <laughs> no, it's getting good now. <laughs> So every time you turn the key on, it shifts either to four wheel or two wheel, the opposite wherever it was. It's fucking weird. These are my notes from like all the wiring I had to do. Really, these ones that are highlighted are the only things I had to manually connect. All the other ones were already connected through the wiring in the Tundra harness. And this is the Tundra wiring diagram and here's the Tacoma diagram. And I don't know, just look at this stuff. Nothing's really jumping out at me that I might have done wrong. So I'm going to check for power and ground first. Oh, I was hoping the filter, you know, filtered all that out. Toyota pulling out of Toyota. Cameron, shut up. Y'all might want to back up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> 